Okay, so here it is, uh, 1962 Brabham BT4 IC. Uh, IC basically standing for uh, International Car. So this car was built by Jack Brabham. He and Ron Taranak had obviously uh, gone off and started the, the Brabham company. Uh, Jack Brabham had pre previously been with Coopers, left Coopers and went off and, and, and started his own company, building his own cars. And this car was built specifically for our unique Tasman races. Um, 1963 was the first season he ran the car, uh, initially with a 2.7 litre engine. Uh, 1964 was the first year that we had the 2.5 litre limit. Um, so yeah, essentially, even though Formula One had a 1.5 litre maximum engine size, uh, Formula One teams were then building or preparing cars for our unique set of engine regulations that we had down here. So, uh, yeah, this, this car won the 1963 Australian Grand Prix. Jack Brabham was driving. Um, he started off the back of the grid. His engine blew in practice, and so he borrowed uh, an engine off his good buddy Bruce McLaren, uh, drove right through the field, and ended up winning the race. Uh, after he'd finished with the car, it ended up with Denny Holm, uh, Denny Holm raced it in the 1964 Tasman series, now fitted with a 2.5 litre engine. Uh, Brabham ran it with a 2.7 litre engine in 1963, I don't know if I said that or not. Um, yeah, so Denny Holm raced it in the 1964 Tasman series. He won the first round at Levin, uh, finished second, I think, in the second round and third in the third round or something like that. Um, yeah, and then um, it went, after, after, after Denny had finished with it, it was sold to... Uh, Australian racer Lex Davison and uh, the Davison family has a long racing history in fact um, Will Davison is currently competing in uh, V8 supercars in Australia um, at, that's the grandson of, of Lex Davison uh, tragically Lex was was killed in this car when he when he when he crashed it um, but yeah really really special piece of Australian and New Zealand racing history he has some really really great Aussie and Kiwi links to it. And yeah, like I say, a, a car that was built at a time, it seems impossible now. Um, imagine Red Bull and, uh, and Ferrari building special Tasman cars with our, our quirky engine size regulations um, and then coming down here and racing them. It's, it's unheard of now, but that's what these guys did. And uh, yeah, that's, that's why cars like this are so special.